group of Grand Forks students flipped the script recently after controversy involving a school lunch policy. They went on to school and taught administrators uh, a meaningful lesson. Valley News Team's Courtney Lockie shows us how their actions inspired change. The roar of the lunchroom is as much a part of the school experience as math, reading, and writing. But it's a sound that hasn't been heard much this year at Valley Middle School in Grand Forks. It seemed a lot more, I guess, like a class period. Eighth grader Grace Gebbard was looking forward to eating with her friends each day. I was a bit upset because like it is our last year in middle school. But the students came back this August to assign seating. Pretty new faces here, learning a lot of things. Principal Anthony Vandal says the staff wanted a better way to keep an eye on kids, but he knew pretty quickly the students weren't happy. I was a little nervous because, well, I just didn't know how the teachers would react. So Grace and Taylor Olson decided to use what they'd learned in the classroom to inspire change. The two conducted surveys, started a petition, wrote essays, and presented their findings to administrators. I basically just like wrote a document because that's like the only like way I knew how to do it like most respectfully. And as they were giving us that information, I just kept saying in my mind that this needs to be shared with people because they did it the right way. And it was just like one of those proud principal moments that we have. Today was their first day sitting anywhere they chose. And as Principal Vandal listens to the laughter from down the hall, he's thankful for the two eighth graders who, without knowing it, taught us all a valuable lesson. <laughs> In Graham Forks, Courtney Lockie, Valley News Live. Now, 6th and 7th graders still have assigned seating at lunch, but we're told they're following the 8th graders' lead. Rain continues.